how to use the water systems in this camper. If you're hooked up to uh, at a campground with uh, the garden hose that is outside, um, you do not need to turn on the water pump. And you'll see that switch right here. The water pump is used only when you don't have hookups and you've got water in the onboard tank. Most of the time I keep it empty. Uh, well, that's not true. I keep a little bit in it just for using the toilet on the road or if I want to wash my hands or something. But if you have campground hookups for water, do not turn on the water pump. That's unnecessary use of the water pump. And it gets kind of noisy, especially if it uh, runs in the middle of the night. It can uh, wake you up. Otherwise, when you're hooked up at a campground, just use the faucets uh, like normal. And you shouldn't have any problem. For hot water, make sure the water heater is uh, full of water before you turn on the water heater. Uh, when you have hookups, it's best to use electric. Uh, it saves on the propane and saves you excessive charges. Uh, you can, since if it's on a hot weekend, you're not going to use much propane uh, because you're using air conditioning instead of heat. When somebody jumps in the shower, you can use both electric and gas and it heats the water much quickly, much more quickly. Um, you can, uh, and you can get actually get a really good shower out of, I don't know if this is a five or a 10 gallon, I can't remember. But the shower uh, has an on off switch at the nozzle. It looks like a chicken died in here right now because I got antifreeze in it. But there's an on off switch so you can wet yourself down, soap up, and then rinse off. And Bob's your uncle, you've had a campground shower. For the rest of the water system, uh, this is the same uh, as in home use. Here for the toilet, put a little bit of water in there by using the foot pedal. Um, put a little water in there and then uh, you, you conservatively use water uh, instead of at home uh, where you have lots and lots of water. But do your business and then use the foot pedal to flush. There should be plenty of toilet paper. Uh, I usually put at least four rolls for a uh, trip in the camper. But if you happen to need to buy toilet tissue, make sure you get really a fairly cheap brand of tissue because it needs to break down inside the tank so that it will move out. And by the way, the, when you arrive at the campground, drop one of these down into the toilet. These little orange packs, just put it in the toilet and flush it and it will help stuff break down and keep the smells down and everything like that.